What's up, sisterhood? It is Kristen here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to combine fashion and modesty during the really hot summer months. I don't know about where you live, but here in Texas, it is already above 100 on a regular basis. This week, I think we're supposed to reach some record highs upwards of like 107 with humidity, so you walk outside and you just instantly start sweating. And so every summer, I face the challenge of how do I pursue modesty and fashion while also embracing this incredibly horrible heat, right? Like, how do you do that? How do you combine those? So I'm just gonna show you a few practical tips of how I do that. Um, but before we get into that, just a quick thing, you may notice my shirt, Fearless Femininity. This is the 2020 Girl Defined Conference Tee, limited edition, only available until our online conference comes. After that, we will not be selling it anymore. So I hope that you'll grab a shirt, Fearless Femininity, from the Girl Defined shop, and I really, really hope you'll join us for the 2020 online Girl Defined Conference. It is exclusively online this year. Thanks to COVID, we've shifted everything online and we are preparing and working our tails off to bring an incredible, powerful, inspirational, engaging, and really fun online conference where all of you, the sisterhood, can gather from every corner of the earth. We can come together for two days to worship God, to learn about him, to grow spiritually, to encourage one another. There will be interaction. There will be contests. There will be amazing breakout sessions. You're still getting all of the same content, real worship from 1910 band. They're coming this year. So I hope you'll join us. Tickets are only $39 for an individual ticket. You can find out more details at girldefined.com slash conference. And as y'all know, our Patreon family, you guys are the backbone of this channel. You support us with just a little bit every single month and it makes such a difference. And so I invite you and ask you, would you join our Patreon family of supporters? And when you join every single month, you're gonna get brand new free products from Girl Defined. Um, just for example, check this out. This was one month's product, the Christian Girls Breakup Survival Guide, an amazing guide that will help you navigate a really hard breakup. Or how about this? 31 days in Proverbs devotional, an entire Proverbs 31 devotional. That's just one of the freebies, one of the free products. This month's is Battling Sexual Temptation, a biblical toolkit for Christian girls. When you become a patron, you get every month's previous free products plus all of the free products moving forward. And these are designed to really help you in really specific ways as you navigate different challenges as a Christian girl. So head on over to patreon.com slash girl defined to join our Patreon fam. We so, so appreciate your support. Okay, let's talk about modesty and the hot summer. I'm just gonna go through five different air, like five different categories of clothing and kind of what I've done this summer. I will say a disclaimer, this video is not about why we dress modestly. It's not so much about what God's word says about modesty. We have written about that at girldefined.com. We've made other videos about that. Um, so I'm not gonna get into that um, in this video. I'm just gonna share practical tips, but I also wanna say the Bible doesn't give us black and white, one, two, three, four, five steps on like hard and fast rules and culture to culture things have changed, right? So here we are in the 21st century, at least I live in America. I know you guys are from all over, um, but modesty is still something God wants us to pursue, but that might look a little bit different for each of us as we seek the Lord. We were, we remember it's got to come from the heart. It's a motivation to honor him, honor others, and really glorify him with the body he gave us. So with that foundation, let's just talk practically about some ideas. You may like these, you may not. Your standards may be different. That's totally fine. I just hope this is an encouraging um, maybe video example of how you can combine fashion and modesty when it's really, really hot. And by the way, I will always be sweating in the summer because it's so hot here. I don't care how much clothes I have on, how little clothes I have on. It's just so hot. I'm sweating constantly. So I'm not like dressing modestly. Yeah, I might have a little bit more clothes on, but I'm still going to sweat either way. So anyways, shorts. I live in shorts during the summertime because I can't do jeans. It's way too hot. So shorts are really hard. I'm 6'1", so I'm extremely tall. So finding shorts that, at least for me, I feel like give me enough coverage on my legs, it's really hard because most shorts are pretty short and even some of the longer ones, I'm just so tall that, you know, I don't know, sometimes they're not as long as I'd like them. So what I've done is this year, I purchased several pairs of jeans that are wide-legged jeans. So they're just like the legs are a little bit wider. Um, and I cut those and made them into shorts. And this is a great tip because regardless of like what your preference is on short length, you can buy a pair of jeans and you can cut them to any length. I like kind of the casual, kind of like the frayed ends. And so here's a pair of shorts that were originally jeans, um, just kind of like a casual style. And I, they were really long, right? They were jeans and I just cut them and then the ends automatically kind of fray. And so this just makes like for a great, like easy. And I bought them in several different washes. Like, like this is kind of a medium wash, darker wash. I got a lighter wash. 
And so that's a great tip. If you are struggling to find shorts, just buy pants, the style that you like. If you look them high-waisted, low-waisted, wide-legged, uh, more fitted, whatever, and cut them and you'll get exactly the length that you want. And you can even roll them if you prefer not to have um, like the edges. Okay, so that I live in these shorts all the time. The next thing is athletic clothes, working out. It is so hot and my husband and I are trying to go running weekly, like we're trying to go running as much as we can for exercise. And for years, I just never really had any good shorts. Like that was always a struggle, athletic shorts for me. And so this year, I know that I've seen my sisters do other things um, different than what I'm about to show you. But what I did is I went on to Old Navy. I get a lot of stuff from Old Navy and I went to the men's section and I found some men's running shorts that were running shorts. So they're like shorter. They're not like super long basketball shorts or something. And I just got the men's shorts. So here we go. I got a couple pairs of these. I love them. They're just from Old Navy um, men's shorts. You know how they give you like the inside situation. I just cut that out because I'm a woman and they fit great and they're perfect. And I, they're like, little bit longer than like women's shorts typically, but they're really comfortable and they're just easy and they gave me enough length that I wanted. And so that's just an option. I know my sisters have also like, if you look at different categories of women's shorts, like um, if you go to a sports store and you find like soccer shorts or shorts that um, are typically made a little longer, you can find the women's cut and just get a little more length. So you gotta really think outside the box. That's what I've learned. Uh, modesty often it you got to think outside the box get a little bit more creative like okay what are other ways that I like other paths that I could go down to kind of get the result I'm looking for okay another thing that's really great in summer is wearing dresses because dresses can be like light summer dresses can be really cool and breezy um, and so that's something that can be really fun so here's just like a really nice light summer dress uh, for me personally um, I think it's so adorable but I would want a little bit more coverage just for me right and so what I do for these type of dresses is like a super light, really thin t-shirt. Like it's really thin, um, so very cool. And I will just put this underneath a dress like this. So I'm not like the layer, it's another layer, but it's a very thin tee. Um, so it doesn't really add too much. And then I just wear this on top and I get a nice light summer dress. This opens up the options, y'all. Like if you aren't comfortable with this by itself, then you throw like, you get a couple like little tees and you can, now it opens up your options for dresses, for jumpers, for anything that, that is like, you know, spaghetti strap. Now it's like, okay, you can wear all of it. So that's also something I do to stay cool or cool-ish during the summertime. But now let's talk about, no, I'm gonna save this for last, bathing suits. There's always big questions about that. Let's talk about the good old cami. All right, camisole, um, whatever you wanna call this. I have a couple of these in like multiple colors. And these are just great because if you have like, you know, really low cut shirt or something really thin and you're like, oh, I'm not sure. You just put one of these on underneath. Yes, it adds an extra layer. Um, sometimes I like that though, cause it's so hot and I get really sweaty and having like a little cotton underneath just kind of actually makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. Like it kind of soaks up some of the sweat. Sorry to get real detailed, but it is so hot here in Texas. So just stock up on a few of these and then that opens up your options for things that you might not feel comfortable wearing. Well, now this gives you a little bit more coverage underneath. So I always keep those on hand. And now drum roll for the big daddy, for the bathing suits, swimming. I know a lot of you email us and say like, it's so hard to find bathing suits that give enough coverage for what I'm comfortable with. And so times are changing though, y'all. Like one pieces are making a comeback. When I go online and I start looking just like scouring different shops and you have to do your research and I do tons of research and I look at what, what's available. There are a lot of shops that sell one pieces that have a lot of coverage and it's amazing and they're cute and they're stylish. So it's really cool to see the trends are changing to where I feel like, um, you know, it may not be from modesty, but trying to accommodate a lot of different body types and a lot of different preferences for women. I feel like there's a lot more variety now than there used to be. So finding modest one pieces or just bathing suits with enough, co enough coverage that you're comfortable with, I feel like it is getting a little easier, not easy, but easier. Okay, so here's a suit that I found on Old Navy of all places, right? Like you'll know, I shop there a lot, but it's a one piece. I was able to get it in tall, which is really great because like I said, I'm super tall and it just kind of goes like, you can wear it off the shoulders. I just kind of bring it up a little bit like this. So it's kind of like a scoop neck and I get plenty of coverage and it's so cute. And it's a one piece, which I prefer because it's just like easy, you just throw it on. And I totally forgot to bring my board shorts to show y'all. But um, I've talked about it before. I, I high, So with this, I wear one piece and then I just put on some board shorts and board shorts you can get like, I got mine on Amazon. So you just look up board shorts. I'll try to link them below. I just got some black ones and 
Um, I actually ended up, I didn't really like the length. They were really super long and I didn't want them quite so long. So I actually cut them and I just hemmed the bottom. So I have a little sewing machine, hemmed them up and they work great. So I wear this with my board shorts and it's perfect. So that's one example. Another example is if you want to search a more specific search when you're looking for a swimsuit with more coverage, if you just search surf, like women's surf top or women's surf one piece, you will get um, tons of options of bathing suits that are a little bit more sporty. They naturally come with a little more coverage because they're meant to be like a surfer suit. And so that's what, how I found this one. <clears throat> okay, so this one, it's really, really cute. And it's a bathing suit. It's got a zip up because it's that surfer style. So um, it has a little more coverage even than the other one, but it's really great. Like when we go to the lake and um, I'm wakeboarding or skiing, you know, I like to wear something that has a little bit more of like a sporty look and a little bit more secure, like it's not gonna go flying anywhere. So I love to wear this to the lake. And I also just pair this with my uh, blackboard shorts and it's great. So I'll link where I got this one below as well. Um, but that's another tip. And I've even seen my sisters buy um, like a surf top that maybe had sleeves, but they didn't want the sleeves. So you can just cut it. If you have someone in your life that knows how to sew, they can just hem it up. And I've seen that work great as well. Um, but if you just do searches, like even modest bathing suits or a uh, bathing suit with more coverage, like you will see a lot more options than I think I've ever seen in the past. I've seen so many cute ones pop up. So those are just a few tips on how to combine fashion and modesty during the really hot summer months. I am with you. I get it. It is so hard, um, but it's worth it. And for each of us, as we pursue that and we check our hearts and we seek to honor God, I think um, it's, it's totally doable. I've seen so many women do it. You're not alone in that. Uh, but comment below because I know you probably have some tips, maybe some tips or tricks on how to combine fashion and modesty when it's really hot. So please comment below. Let's collaborate. Let's share our ideas. If you know of an awesome bathing suit or shorts or dresses or whatever, and you found a really great store that has them, add the link so that we can all like kind of get inspiration and encourage each other in this because we're definitely not alone. All right. Love you guys so much. We'll see you next time.